after I had sung this song, the Rebbe Lamelech, to my granduncle Leonid Schwartzman. He drew a picture for me, inspired by this song. Here it is. My granduncle is one of most popular in Russia and somewhat in the world anime directors, who invented famous Chiburashka and many other cartoon characters. He is 100 years old now and stays in relatively good health and has a razor sharp mind. This video is dedicated to him, to my grand uncle Leonid Schwarzman. <laughs> As the rebel man is given the frail, is given the frail, the man, who the voice gets on the steel, and who the one gets on the brill, and gets sick, nor the fiddle or the two. As the rebel is given, no more frail. Is given, no more frail. Как сверкали их таланты, как сверкали их таланты, Боже мой, ах, играли музыканты, как играли музыканты, 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 Боже мой, музыканты, музыканты, Боже мой, музыканты, музыканты. known as a popular song, has an interesting history, and you're about to hear two versions of it, a Yiddish version and a Russian version. And they're really quite different from each other. And I want to talk about each of them. Um, the Yiddish version was written by a Yiddish writer named Moishe Nadir. That wasn't his real name. His name was Yitzhak Reis. 
and I wish I had known him. He he must have been a fun person. He he was a, a satirist, a humorist, wrote erotic poetry as a young man, came to the United States from Ukraine at age 13, and wound up living in Woodstock, New York until 1943. And uh, this song is attributed to him. It's not a very complicated song. It's uh, like a Yiddish version of Old King Cole, was a merry old soul when he called for his fiddlers three. So here, instead of a uh, King Cole, we have a rabbi, Eli Melech, and there was a real Eli Melech, um, a kind of minor rabbi. And this song falls into the category of satire. It makes fun of the Hasidic Rebbes who love to have a good time. So this Rebbe Eli Melech, he takes off his uh, prayer shawl and puts on his glasses and calls for his fiddler. And then he takes off his uh, phylacteries or whatever, and he calls for the drummers. And then each instrument gets added on, and it's very lively and quite danceable. Uh, so that's that song. The Russian version that uh, you'll hear from Vladimir has, seems to have such a fascinating story. It's from a different uh, writer. Uh, it's similar. The melody is the same. But the words are, are quite different. It's just about um, a Reb, Rabbi Ele, and he has a good time and he's happy. And he keeps saying, Boje moi, oh my God. Um, um, and it's, it's really fun. It's lively, danceable, and uh, the song has a life of its own. I went into uh, hear different versions of Eli Melech in YouTube just to explore what people are doing with it. And it's fascinating to me that sometimes it gets really very sentimental, like Mandy Katankin's version is really sentimental. Others are quite lively um, and sort of Lesmer dancing, hopping around versions of it. So this song seems to have taken on different, different contexts and different faces depending on who uses it, where and for whom. Um, and it's traveled back and forth between the United States and Russia in an interesting way. Moshe Nader himself was a communist, um, went to visit the Soviet Union in 1926. But with the growth of Stalin and his repression, he became disenchanted with uh, communism and dis distanced himself from it. Um, so uh, it's interesting to me now, to kind of push and pull between tradition and rebellion between um, mockery and sincerity. And I think in this song, you have both. <laughs> 